Hi, my name is Matt Ackerson. I'm the founder and CEO of Autogrow.co. As you may already know, in this video, I'm talking about how do you increase the probability for your chances of success with pay-per-click ads, specifically Google ads in this case. But what I'm gonna teach you, which is the answer, is that uh, when you apply this one technique, this strategy, this this way of thinking about the solution and how things need to be adjusted to maximize your chances of success. You're going to be surprised at how simple it is. It's going to make sense to you, uh, but it's also something that you can apply to your Facebook ads and to pretty much any other ad campaign. It's not mutually exclusive to Google AdWords, for example, pay-per-click. So I'm making this series of videos, I'm doing one per day, where I talk about a problem or something new that I'm learning, you know, as the, as the leader of the company, and we've been growing a lot. Uh, so again, we started in 2010. Um, today, we have the Autogrow platform where our clients come, they log into our site and they tell us, okay, I want to delegate, you know, whatever work it is off their plate, whether it be for their clients and do it, do the work on a white label basis, or um, they want to, you know, make some updates, some tweaks, or get projects done, marketing related campaigns done for their own business, for their own funnel. We do all that. So that's what the business is about. And in my previous video yesterday, I talked about the Facebook iOS update. And since the fallout of that is, is really still ongoing for a lot of advertisers, um, it just came out the other day that you know Facebook's uh, stock took a little bit of a hit. Uh, they were, you know, their, their earnings were a bit less in terms of projections. And a big part of that was Apple's iOS update. And um, which basically makes uh, for better or worse, you know, pros and cons to everything. Users of iPhones and Macs are basically invisible to advertisers in terms of targeting and, and, and cookie tracking to, to an extent. As I talked about yesterday, just like a lot of other advertisers, we've dramatically scaled back our Facebook budget. And this past week, we actually turned it off completely because we can't see the results from it. Uh, because the targeting is just completely off and Facebook's AI targeting is completely off as well. It's just not going after the same audience that was a great fit for what it is we were selling. So as a result, a big part of the changes that we made, as I explored yesterday, was we invested in redesigning our site, launching a new design for our app. Um, we just put out a, uh, a new, some just fantastic webinar content where I talk about the 11 laws of sales funnel physics. And that's particularly relevant to the discussion today um, because we're gonna talk about the law of alignment and how that applies uh, if you're writing copy for ads and pay-per-click ads, like for Google in particular, and you want to make sure that people click on them, that the probability that they're actually going to work for you is, is high. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. And we'll actually we'll actually walk through some of the copy that we've drafted right now. And uh, again, if you if you like this format, I'll leave a comment below. I'll keep, I'll keep doing it, just kind of like inside baseball, behind the scenes sort of thing. We're creating three campaigns just to start going after you know uh, people searching for for different things on Google. And uh, and with your business, you know whatever it is that you're selling, uh, you can you can kind of take a, a similar approach where you know you may not find there, there are keywords out there that people are searching for where it's you know probably not exactly you know what your service is but it's enough aligned with that keyword that clearly the intent of what they ultimately want is what you are offering in terms of your value proposition your product your service and so on so so for example and, and plus what we offer is actually very unique so depending on the uniqueness of what you offer as well, you know, you're going to have to kind of find keywords that are are close or close enough, you know, to what it is, uh, you know, that you're you're looking to sell. So for example, in, in Autogrow's case, you know, we're we're an all-in-one uh, solution. Um, so it's an unlimited subscription. You get 12 skill sets and counting: copy design, development, apps management, ad management, strategy and more, and we're adding new skill sets coming up soon. Pretty exciting. Um, but you get all of that for one flat monthly price. Uh, the problem is, is that no one's searching for exactly that. Uh, there's probably some searches for like all in one done for you digital marketing team that happens through an app and blah, blah, blah. You know, there are some searches for some things along those lines, uh, but the volume of them is, is not very high. So as a result, you know, our strategy is to kind of like pick out, you know, what are the niches 
of interest that we can go after that align uh, pretty well. And uh, two of the top ones to start are, you know, just anything related to content and copywriting, um, since that's a, a big interest and our clients love that. And, and second, the second niche is uh, design. Uh, because that's already a pretty well-established niche. A lot of people are searching for done-for-you graphic design and web design services and so on and so forth. Um, and then we have another niche that's kind of more about like outsourcing and white labeling and you know quality of work and th this sort of thing. Um, kind of more generic, broad, uh, done-for-you marketing services. So those are the three campaigns that we're launching. Um, you know, we're going to see how well they work. But what I can tell you is that you know from past experience, what we know works. Uh, because we, we launched in 2019. Um, we were kind of more focused on done for you sales funnels at that time. And that was more more of our value proposition. Okay, we set up the sales funnel, we, we optimize it and so on and so forth. But we realized for a variety of reasons that I can get into if you're interested in a future video, it just didn't really scale so well. Um, if we wanted to scale that business, basically we would have just had to go niche, like for example, just sales funnels for coaches, for example. But during that time, uh, we launched an ad campaign, our, our, one, one of our um, early ad campaigns on Google AdWords um, for that service. Uh, it was, you know, it was targeting, you know, done for you sales funnels and, and this sort of thing. And we wanted to be sure that we were actually getting results from it. So there are two, two tactics in particular under the umbrella of this strategy that worked really well. Uh, so the, the first one was using exact keyword match and not going for broad keyword uh, match. So if you're not so familiar with exact versus broad keyword match, basically, you know, if, if someone is searching for, you know, uh, computer blue light glasses, for example, and you just typed in the words, you know, blue light glasses, and it wasn't set to be an exact match to that keyword, Basically, anyone searching for the words blue and light and uh, glasses or anything that Google determined that was kind of close to those or had most of those keywords would show up. The result, a lot of irrelevant keywords you would show up for in terms of Google search results, and you get a lot of irrelevant, low quality clicks and therefore low quality traffic coming into your website, into your funnel. So when you're just starting out, you want results, you want validation that what you're doing is working, no matter the size of your budget. I mean, I, I think that's pretty paramount, you know, whether you're working in a large corporation and you're just reporting numbers to your boss, or, you know, you are a solo entrepreneur who wants to be sure that you're driving leads and sales from the money that you're inputting to an ad campaign. So what we found that worked is number one, only do exact match keywords. So if someone is searching for blue light glasses, we would only go after those keywords in particular. Or for example, at the time it, it was, you know, like done for you sales funnel was one of the keywords undoubtedly. Um, it wouldn't be anything with words attached to that or more to that or less than that. It would be just exactly that because we knew exactly what the search volume was. We knew we had a very clear idea of what someone's intent was when they typed in that keyword. And so very quickly after we launched that campaign, we saw results almost immediately. Now let's talk about the second tactic uh, that we used in terms of um, getting results quickly. Before I tell you what that tactic is, I'm going to share my screen. We're going to walk through the copy. Let me tell you what both of these tactics are under the umbrella of. Both of these tactics are under the umbrella of the law of alignment. So if you've been a recent attendee, maybe to last week's or the week before's webinar on the 11 laws of sales funnel physics, the critical law that arcs over all the other laws is the law of alignment. Because the law of alignment deals with what is someone's intentions, preferences, expectations, the context in which they enter and move through your funnel. So for example, if, you're, if you have a button on a page and that button says, see pricing, and someone clicks on that button and they're taken to a page that's actually a contact form. That would be a misalignment in your funnel. And in order for your funnel to be moved into alignment together in that situation is you need to, you need to fulfill the expectation that you're setting or you need to change the expectation that you're setting. So for example, if you wanted to keep the contact form, you would have to change the text on the button. 
and it would say something like contact us or you know contact us for a quote or just you know request a quote even would be better than seed pricing because seed pricing sets up the expectation that in the next step when people land on that page you know they're going to see pricing that i mean imagine i know it's i know it's surprising but that's going to be the expectation people want people would expect to see some sort of price or pricing packages there not a contact form so um so you can change the contact form to be packages or an actual price or you can change the text on the button to better set the expectation before they move to the next step because that misalignment while that's in place it's costing you it's costing you conversions okay guaranteed guaranteed another way to think about the law of alignment is when someone enters your website where are they coming from are they a complete stranger are they coming from social media primarily where they were just you know checking out their ex-boyfriend or girlfriend's profile photos um or you know just you know mindlessly scrolling down their instagram news feed uh or are they are they coming from a source where maybe they already know all about your products and services and this was the case with one of the case studies that I explored in the 11 laws webinar where there was a an SEO uh, white label SEO company called Hoth and they would uh, they they had 1.3% of people filling out their form and they didn't they didn't know what to do so they said okay let's form a hypothesis we're just going to simplify radically simplify the design they came up with this landing page headline subheadline contact form done that was it what happened well conversions didn't go down even though there was less social proof there wasn't a video there was less copy in general conversions went up by a factor of 10 from 1.3% to 13% why why did that happen well how they formed the hypothesis interestingly enough was that they realized that people who were coming into their website the context this is what i mean by context the context of people coming to the website was that these were people who already knew all about Paul. They already knew about what they could do. They just needed a clear call to action to say, "Hey, go here. You know what it is? Go here and uh fill out this quick, you know, re- request a quote form." 10 times improvement because they brought they 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 brought with, without even knowing it, they practiced the and applied the law of alignment and they brought it into alignment with their prospects. um preferences and the context with which that they were coming in okay so so that's that's the law that is an umbrella to both of these tactics that I'm talking about and now I just want to wrap up by showing you an example of uh one of our ads that we have here so we're going to we're, we're still revising this copy but when it comes to alignment and applying that specifically and tactically to copywriting your your copy is in alignment when it's balanced between the intent of the of the person who searched for whatever the keyword is and balanced and also taken into consideration with what is the content that is on the page that is immediately going to follow it okay so it's a little bit different difficult it's a little bit nuanced to think about but when you do this and you tweak your copy and you massage it into place you're going to get so much better results so much faster just like we did when we launched our initial campaign and that's what we're doing this time around too so let's look at a few examples here um so as i mentioned you know we have one version of the campaign going after you know like white label done for you digital marketing another is going after writing and content and copy and another version is going after you know web design uh, by the way you can ignore these this is just kind of part of a uh, of a template that we've used in the past and that we use for our clients frankly you know when we're looking to do kind of like a variety of ads based on a, you know different hypotheses and and so that there's enough variation between the ads and a different um difference enough that like one is probably going to perform pretty well so for example you know alignment specifically you know having the copy focused for the ad on that you know logic specifically very you know logos focused like if this then that you know here's the benefit this is why you need it very rationally completely rational speaking and emotion you know more social proof more you know exotic use uh, uh, more use of exotic words or vocabulary um you know maybe some scarcity some fomo some you know you know fear of missing out baked in there so that's the typical template that we use but getting back to the point so let's let's see uh again i'm just i'm doing this in real time with you guys 
Uh, so if we want to bring this into alignment or kind of evaluate it from that perspective. So again, where are people going to be going? Well, they're going to be going to our homepage. Okay, people are going to be seeing, you know, like something, you know, like this, copy like this, blah, blah, blah. Talks about uh, what, we're, what we're offering and why it's valuable, value proposition, and on and on. So white label marketing seems pretty well aligned. Seems, seems pretty well aligned there. No, no real changes, I would say. Uh, find copywriters. So reliable and professional, quick copy turnaround. So I need to kind of teach you guys another tactic right now. And this is a really good one to, to think about it. So I, I call this tactic the click and turn. It, it's, it's fairly standard because, you know, if you're going after a particular niche of people with a, you know, a certain intent in terms of, you know, keywords, you want them to click Okay, because they have t intent and you know generally what that intent is and how it connects with the value of what your product or service has to offer. But they might be searching for something like in this case, okay, uh, j I want a copywriter or I want a content writer or I want someone who can write a lead magnet for me. So you're looking for a specific skill or a specific type of deliverable and our, and our goal and your goal is to get them to click, but then turn into the value proposition um, which is still aligned with with what they want. And perhaps as I see it in the case of our company is even better because, you know, they get exactly what they want, but they get all these other skills on top of it, you know, through a web um, kind of project management app experience. And it's, it's pretty awesome. You know, the thing that I, I'm going to work on, I think, with our ads manager, who's, you know, one of the that's one of the skills you get when you sign up for Autogrow, again, kind of an all in one complete team is, you know, I'm gonna kind of interrogate this with her, be like, should we say, should should it say find copywriters, you know? Maybe it should be dynamic, where we just put the keyword in there of whatever the people are searching for, whether it's, you know, done for you lead magnet or, you know, blog content writer, you know, whatever it might be, instead of just find, find copywriters. Because if someone, you know, is searching for, you know, done for you lead magnet um, copywriting, that may not align with, as much if we're just saying find copywriters. So you might want to make it dynamic in that sense. And then in terms of hi hiring a web designer, again, looking, you know, that that's well aligned with someone who's looking for a person and a skill set, but a lot of people might be searching just for, you know, the deliverable. Okay, I want, you know, I, I want a custom, you know, logo design. I, I, I want to, you know, or even a freelancer with, you know, uh, you know, who can do logo design or a, you know, custom illustration or, or something along these lines. We might want to use some sort of dynamic uh, keyword capabilities, which are built into Google AdWords in this case as well. So w whenever you're doing this, it's, it's really useful to just keep the list of keywords directly in front of you side by side. So you, again, in your mind, you can go back and forth between your landing page and what are the keywords that we're going for and is the ad copy specific enough? Because you can even write additional ads. I guess the ideal situation is, you know, you have one ad for every single keyword. Now, obviously that's not efficient and that's why you group keywords into, you know, buckets of, uh, you know, campaign buckets per se. Um, but you can write additional ads if you really want to do that um, and, you'll, and you'll probably get better results. But um, yeah, so I think we would want to make this be a little more broad to take into take, take into account some of the other keywords that we're, that we're actively going after. Let's look at one more example and then we'll wrap up. Uh, fast all-in-one light, white label marketing. It's pretty good. Great product, but terrible marketing. Uh, unlimited outsourced marketing uh, uh, services for a flat fee. Okay, this one is a little bit vague. So in terms of Another law of sales from physics, the law of clarity. I think what our writer is kind of getting out there is just the idea that, you know, okay, um, you know, maybe you've used other writing or design services, but, you know, it turned out bad. You know, something along these lines, I think, is what he might be trying to get at. So we, but we might want to revise that to make it more clear because it could spend thousands of dollars in hours. Yep. Okay. So that's pretty, that's pretty well aligned because, you know, it's, it's literally, you know, what, what we do. So this one has to do with design, your whole website. So previously this actually said uh, white papers, but then I gave some feedback and there was a revision, there was an update. So this is better because, you know, website, it's a specific thing, but it's something that everyone, everyone has a need for in terms of uh, web design, whether it's landing pages or an entire website or even graphics. 
But in that case, you know, it might be people might feel like it's a little exclusionary for them because, like, oh, I want I want someone who can update our PowerPoints and our graphics,、uh, not necessarily a whole website or even landing pages too. You know, they people may feel like that's a little bit misaligned with their intentions. Full service website copywriting in two minutes, in two clicks, two minutes would be nice. We're, we'll get there.、Um, uh, white paper written in three days. Stop wasting time and money. So white paper. Okay, so this one is、uh, copywriting related. So white paper is fairly specific in terms of the deliverable. So if the keyword is you know white paper writer, it's great. It's it's great for that. But if it's again some someone who wants a lead magnet, they'd be like, ah,、oh, well, they obviously specialize in white papers. So I don't know if I should if I should really go after them. So again, in this case, we want to make it a little bit more broad. I would say in both cases. Um, but what about、uh, you know what about you know the copy on the homepage because people are going to click on this ad and then they're going to come here and they're going to see this headline and、uh, and they might be like well what happened I was expecting and this comes back to alignment right comes back to、uh, I thought I was searching for you know done for you copywriting services or lead magnet or white paper writer or you know graphic designer or whatever it is. But now it's you know get quality marketing work done for you fast. It's like the 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 click and the turn is a little bit too abrupt. You know people want to see that you know what they searched for, that the page is still relevant and has relevance to them. It's it's kind of like a comfort thing again, and it's and it's part of their preferences, right? And it's part of the context with which you know they're coming into your site and into our site in this case. Idea like what we could do is we could set up different landing pages, you know, targeting each of these campaigns. And I realized. That's a lot of work, you know. We want to get this going now,、um, so to bring it into alignment, not just in terms of revising the ad copy and making it in a couple of cases, like I showed you, a, a little bit more broad, so that it's aligned with, you know, what it is we're selling while still being very relevant to whatever keyword or deliverable or type of skill and professional that people might be searching for. We 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 also want it to be aligned at this level. At the level of when they arrive on the page, so is there a magic tool out there that allows you to personalize your sales pages? And it turns out there is. There are several of them, but、uh, RightMessage.com is the one that we're going to sign up for. We're going to give it a try. I've、uh, I, I know the founder personally. We used to be in a、uh, close-knit mastermind group in the past.、Um, Andrew Warner from Mixergy.com introduced us. And、uh, it, it's it's a pretty cool solution. I've had my eye on it for a while, so we're going to give that a try. And in a future video, I think I'll have more to tell you about how well、uh, the personalization、uh, marketing aspects of it are actually working for us in terms of you know these campaigns and how you might apply it, you know, to your funnel. But again, it all comes back to why does it work? Because of the law of alignment. Because when you personalize a landing page. Again, it, it fits better with people's preferences. It better speaks to what their questions, objections, and information needs in general are. Better aligns with what they want, and if it if aligns with what they want, they're more likely to buy, or at least to give you a try, give you a phone call, whatever it might be, request a quote. So how how would we how are we going to use this? Well, I think we're going to at the very least personalize the headline, and maybe some of the bullet points here, because again, we don't you don't want that click and turn. Okay, because like what you actually offer is over here. If you're looking at the video, and what when where people are coming from is over here. So your goal, they're going to click, and you want to kind of gracefully get them to over here, right? But if it's too abrupt, if you're like, you know, it's going to be like、uh, whiplash, right? And again, alignment, right? It's an, anal an analogy to help you understand the concept of alignment. So if it's if there's too much whiplash, people are just going to bounce. They're going to leave your website. But to make it more graceful, you know, we'll have this headline, for example, say,、um, "Get quality, you know, copywriting work done for you fast." It could be as simple as that. I don't know. We'll 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 figure it out. But、um, and then, you know, the the turn happens as we say throughout the copy, you know, for the rest of the page. Oh well, you it's it's really you're getting multiple skill sets. It's one flat monthly fee, you know, free trials, and so on and so forth. So and then we might customize the copy here in terms of explaining, you know, the problem, but specifically as it relates to,、um, you know, content writing and hiring, you know, quality copywriters or content writers, whatever the keyword might be. We can customize it to that. So you don't want to go too crazy because it can be a lot to maintain, but certainly we can do one version、um, 
you know, personalized uh, to each of the campaigns. All right, so I think that's enough for today. Uh, again, my name is Matt Ackerson. It's getting dark here, it's a little overcast today. I'm the founder and CEO of autogrow.co and I encourage you to go check out autogrow.co if you are interested in getting quality marketing work done for you fast and otherwise just delegating and, and getting it off your plate. Uh, one of the biggest benefits that our clients really appreciate is the fact that it is an all-in-one done for you uh, digital marketing team that you're getting access to and we're working on adding two new exciting skills by popular demand coming up real soon in the near future. So as always, keep auto growing and stay focused. I'll talk to you soon.